Thank you, JC. Um, now, uh, in addition to the charter school amendment, uh, there will be another important thing at the bottom of the ballot, and that will be the SPLOST vote here in Lowndes County. And so uh, the SPLOST uh, had the the SPLUS team had their kickoff the other day, and Sam Allen was there. And uh, he's going to give us first a little overview of the SPLUS projects, and then Kay Harris is going to talk to us particularly about the library project. Sam. Thank you, Gretchen. I'm not a politician. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> and I'm not running for... Yeah, and I'm not running for, for our political office. And I'm trying to decide who talked me in to co-chairing the SPLOS 7 renewal. And I finally realized the reason why I decided to co-chair this is because I love Valdosta Lyons County. It's nothing personal. No one loves a tax, I can tell you. I'm retired. But I can tell you, when I wake up on Monday morning and I've put my trash can out the night before, my trash is empty. When I turn on my water to take my shower, the water comes through the speaker. So these are not pretty things, but someone has to pay for them. And usually the people that pay for these types of things are people who own homes. Now, Valdosta Lowndes County is sitting on a gold mine. There are 13,000 students on the campus of Valdosta State University. And those kids have discretionary funds. And for, for us that don't know what discretionary funds are, those are funds that we get from mom and daddy that we don't have to work for. These 13,000 students that stay in our community, supposed to stay in our community for four years, sometimes may end up being here for five years or six years before leaving. They leave their money right here in Valdosta Lowndes County, but they don't utilize the services. When we looked at the previous Sploss on the last ballot, we realized that Valdosta Lowndes County was going to be a donor community. That meant that money that was raised here in Valdosta Lowndes County was going someplace else. It was not staying here in, in Valdosta Lowndes County. And that's what's unique about the renewal of the Sploss Seven. This is money that's raised in Lowndes County and remains in Lowndes County. The city and the county government both have one of the lowest millage rates anywhere in the state of Georgia. And primarily that is because of this SPLOS tax. Because a lot of the projects that are funded are funded through this money and not through property taxes. Now, I'm not here to debate the projects. Because there may be a project that's on this list that may not be in your neighborhood. But I can assure you, there is not a day that goes by that you as a citizen of Valdosta Lyons County don't benefit for something that's sponsored and paid for by SPLOS. You may take it for granted. You may not even think about it. But it's funded by somebody. Someone has to pay. And I'm sure that when Gretchen becomes chairman of the county commission, this is something that she wants to make sure is still intact. Because she knows that if this is not intact, then your millage rates are going to have to increase. When the EPA and EPD come down with new regulations, they don't care who pays. They just want it fixed. If there is a project that's on the list that you don't particularly like, the place that you need to go to your county and city government. You should have been beating the door down at city council meetings. You should have been beating the door down at the county commission meeting when this was being put together. My job is to make sure that you go to the polls 
hopefully on October the 15th, and vote yes. But if you have a problem with what's on the list, then you need to hold your elected officials accountable for what's on the list. Don't throw the baby out with the bathwater. Because for six years, you won't have this chance again. But for six years, someone is going to have to foot the bill. So I plead with you. I'm the last one that want to pay a tax. But this is not a new tax. This is one that you've always paid. And we're just asking that you continue to pay it. And not only do you pay it, but allow all of the other people that live in our community. I was looking, I met my Brooks County friends just a minute ago. Before they leave and go back to Quitman, they're going to leave something right here in Valdosta. When I was superintendent, I would go to meetings and meet with my counterparts in Atkinson County and Tiff County and Brooks County. And they would have a fit because everyone in those counties would come to Valdosta and Lowndes County and spend money and leave their dollars here, and we would benefit. And I can assure you, before I leave this earth, someone in Atlanta... Some legislation is going to be passed where we're going to have to send some of this money that we collect to some of our communities that are in our metropolitan area. If you're not careful, because the budgets in all of these communities are short and they're tight, and they're looking for every dollar that they can in order to benefit themselves, and they're going to say to Valdosta Lounge County one of these days, you're going to have to share some of that money that you've been making on our citizens, and you're going to have to give it back. Because if I was in Brooks County and I was uh, an elected official and I saw that the majority of my citizens were spending money someplace else, I would be looking for a way to see how I could recoup some of that money and lower my millage rate. So I plead with you, if you have a problem with the projects, the people that you should be after are those people that are sitting on that podium once a month, making those decisions. And if you don't like the way that they vote, then you send them home. Don't let them continue to stay year in and year after and, and complain about what they're doing because they're going to continue to do it because they're going to believe that they're doing right because you hadn't said anything. This tax begins collection in January of fourteen. And it's for a six-year term. And then someone will be standing in front of you again asking you to renew it. Because for some reason, I don't think that these types of taxes are ever going to go away. I think that governments have depended on these types of taxes so long that it's never going to go away. And I think that what Atlanta and what Washington have decided is that if a community won't do what it takes to take care of its own, we're not going to send you any more money. Because years ago, if you needed a sewer replaced, you simply wrote a grant. There was a book this thick that you could write any kind of grant you wanted. You could get a grant from, a, from Washington to, to, if you stumped your toe. If you wanted somebody to pour water in your glass. There was so much money coming out of government. All you needed to do was get you a tax ID number and write it, give it to the legislators, and you would have all kind of money. But those days are gone. And what Atlanta and Washington is saying, if you want to improve on your community, then you do it. I'm going to leave you with this. We were getting ready for our kickoff. Uh, in the parking lot of South Georgia Medical Center on Thursday. And as I was sitting there, a man in a vending machine came through because they were doing the, the, a, uh, a building project. And all of a sudden, people start going to this vending machine man. And I went up to him, and I bought me a, a water, and I asked him, I said, how do you do this? He said, you know, I thought I was going to go out of business. 
But because of so much building that's going on in Valdosta Lowndes County, my business has doubled. And he was a small business owner. See how we forget the small picture. If it had not been for the building that was going on at South Georgia Medical Center, this small business owner would be out of business. Let's keep Valdosta Lowndes County progressive. Let's encourage people to move here as we get older. And please, on October the 15th, not only you, but encourage others to go to the polls and vote yes for the renewal of the SPLOS 7 tax for the city of Valdosta, Lowndes County, Dasher, Hayhire, Lake Park, and Remington. Thank you.